الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ويلكم هاي بدر الدين محمد عيو وجه من إنجليش نيوز بروغرام سومالا ناشنال تلفيشن ديس هاد المينيستورز ميك هيدلاينز سومالا نيستر اوف هاوث انا جريتس تاج سكرين تشيك ان اوتوماتيف ريجستريشن فور بيجنس سومالا اس دي اف دونر اون انسبكتور تور اوف رود اند ووتر بروجيكتس at least four wounded in Luxor of Egypt. Somaliland Minister of Health, Dr. Suleiman Ahmed Haglatosi, in a greatest patient self-service registration system in Hagesio Group Hospital to speed up the check-in process and perform other essential tasks in the hospital. The service enables us to perform all the types of the hospital day-to-day -day operations, their capabilities, and best practices in selecting and using them. Present on the occasion was Health Minister and the Director General of Argesa Group Hospital, flanked by members of EU International Organization. Director General for Hargeisa Group Hospital, Dr. Ahmed Umar Asker, is speaking at first has outlined use and benefits of this computerized patient self-service registration where he said that this automated registration saves can be an effective tool for improving service efficiency and for meeting rising consumer expectations. Members representing international organizations who help to install this electronic patient registration service have on their side praised the significance of this service. Conclusively, Minister of Health Dr. Saliban Isa alias Hagletus here stated that these interactive computer stations which came in Friday of designs perform self-service tasks such as patient check-in, collection of co-payments and wayfinding. In a hospital waiting area, they can speed the process for patients and take some of the workload from registration personnel, who are then freed up to help patients with more complicated registration or payment needs. A delegation from the government of Somaliland, accompanied by the Somaliland Development Fund SDF donors, visited the Rhodes Development Agency Laboratory to see the equipment funded by the SDF later on. The delegation visited Hargeisa Water Agency pipe storage facility where recently imported pipes for Hargeisa urban water supply upgrading project pipes have been stored. The purpose of the visit was to provide the government of Somaliland and the donors with an opportunity to see a recently supplied modern laboratory in RDA as well as the recently arrived 371 container loads with 3,696 pieces, slightly covering distances over 21 kilometers meant for use in the upgrading of the Hargeisa Urban Water Main Water Pipeline. Both laboratory equipment and the pipes are funded by the SDF from government of Somaliland side. Members of the delegation were headed by the State Minister of Finance, Usman Sahardid, flanked by Master Ibrahim Siad, General Manager of Argesa Water Agency, and Professor Hassan Ali Usman, the General Manager of RDA. The donors were represented by officials from UK Department of International Development and Danish International Development Agency, Danida and the Kingdom of the Netherlands. After visiting the RDA offices and laboratories, Pauline, representing donors, said, It's very nice to be in here and to see the results of the combination of two years of work. The SDF is really focused on infrastructure and particularly on roads and water. We have got two roads and a bridge rehabilitated. It's also good to see all this equipment which will help in ensuring sustained quality of roads in Somaliland. It's indeed good to see that all SDF work coming together finally and the taxpayers' money being well spent. 
is speaking for the government of Somaliland at both sites RDA and Hargeisa Water Agency. The State Minister of Finance, Usman Sahardid, said that it is apparent to everyone that progress made in the road sector is specifically the rehabilitation of Lavruk Berbera Road, Kalabaydila Road, and now the laboratory equipment, which will bring a lot of benefits, including testing of road construction materials for the benefit of our roads in Somaliland. The water upgrading project for Hargeisa is similarly helpful in contributing to the provision of adequate accessible water to Hargeisa residents. On behalf of the government of Somaliland and its people, I would like to thank the government and the people of UK, Denmark, Norway and the Netherlands for contributing to the Somaliland Development Fund and making this all to happen. The Director General for the Minister of Energy of Somaliland, Saeed Ahmed Jibril, honored with the certificate is graduates of Gullis University from Solar Power System in the capital city of Somaliland, Hageza. Director General for the Ministry of Energy, Saeed Ahmed Jibril, honors with certificate, certificate graduates of Gullis University from Solar Power System in the capital city of Somaliland, Hageza. The Director General for the Ministry of Energy, Saeed Ahmed Jibril, accompanied by Gullis University President Professor Saeed Ahmed Hassan, joined by students, parents, and wide array of notable guests on the occasion of grad students, parents, and wide array of notable guests on the occasion of graduation ceremony of 11 graduates from Solar System at Gullis University. Director General for the Ministry of Energy spoke on the occasion and congratulated for the graduates in attaining this professional skill which is new to the country. He further outlined the importance of learning this profession. Keynote speakers at the event congratulated graduates for acquiring this knowledge and urged them analogously to continue their education further. You are still watching the English news program on Somaliland National Television. Tony Somali speaking channel with an English news program. And now for our international headlines in detail. <music> Witnesses and security sources say at least four people have been injured in a suicide pumping in a car park next to the Kimak Temple in Luxor, southern Egypt. Three alleged assailants are said to have been killed, although no group claimed immediate responsibility for the attack. It is the latest in a string of assault on Egypt's popular visitor sites. The country's interior ministry says no tourists were injured. That's all the news we have for you. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.